Okay, so I feel like I've talked about this a ton, whether it's just like talking to friends. I've spoken about it on the podcast before in different like instances. But there's a part of me that's like, am I making some of this up or like am I remembering it differently no. than it actually happened? Am I like fabricating things? I don't know. So I'm going to like give you guys the floor. What was like, I'll, I'll go to Eric first. What was like your first like... I guess when you really noticed that something was like happening, that was weird. Well, I think the first thing that we both noticed was the sound of someone walking down the stairs that were in between both of our bedrooms. Yeah. Like our bedrooms mirrored each other. We lived in a bungalow and there was like three or two, you know, three or four stairs that went down to our bedrooms and it was our yeah, bedrooms. Our, our, I think each our other. bedrooms were, like extensions off the back of the house. I don't think those rooms were originally on that house. Right. No, I don't think so either. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there was like th four steps that went down and then, you know, like my bedroom was on the right and yours was on the left. Mm -hmm. I remember waking up one night and we had both heard the same thing and we kind of had both opened our doors and we're like, who just walked down the stairs? Um, yeah. You know, it wasn't either one of us sneaking it, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, like I remember hearing like a lot of like the pacing up and down the stairs. Like that was it for sure. And I always feel like there was like bangs on our doors. Like I remember bangs hitting my doors and you and I, same thing. We'd open up our doors and yeah. be in the hallway. Like what was that? Yeah. So. And I mean, I feel like that only lasted like a little while though. Like that didn't persist. Like I feel like that only happened for like a fairly short period of time. It's enough time for me to be scared no, yeah, out of my yeah. pants. But it, it didn't like it, it, it didn't stick around. Um, oh, can I, can I jump in here? Because um, it did go away and it's because um, a friend of mine who was really into spirits and stuff, he said, if you read this passage out loud from a Bible, the spirit will go. And I honestly think it did, but I was like shitting myself reading that. <laughs> and we'll we'll get into that stuff because I think that is kind of what like closes a lot of this stuff out. But so we were older. We were not like kids when this happened either. So it's not like we have like a child's mind of what had happened. Like we were both like teenagers. You were just about to go off to college. Yep. I was at home. Um, but we never, none of us really spoke about this when we all lived in the house together. Like, I don't feel like we were ever like the house is haunted. Right. I don't feel like we actually talked about that until really, yeah, you I moved out. I moved to LA yeah. and then we all started kind of talking about it. Yeah. Cause I mean, I was just about to move out to go to college. Um, but I guess, you know, I guess it did kind of persist because Justin, my friend moved in Yes. after college was done and lived there for a couple months and he experienced the same things didn't he yeah well justin and i would also go to um the, the old whitby insane asylum so right. maybe we were oh. like conjuring up some ghosts with that. Some of that, yeah. but well, but I mean, no I, Justin, I, used to, I used to go there all the time um previously so i don't know maybe maybe, maybe we brought home. something home yeah. that was like the thing to do for us when we were like teenagers was to go like hang out there's like an old abandoned uh mental hospital but, you know, that's kind of what I was saying is like, was it a haunting or was it something else? Because a haunting, I guess, is tied to a place, whereas like a poltergeist or something else like that is tied to a person. Yeah. So that's I funny that you say that, too, because so when I had Rachel Evans on, she does um, like catching <clears throat> a ghost on camera. She does like a lot of those like discovery travel shows like she is like in on the go. She's got her finger on the pulse. She knows what's up. And I was explaining to her some of these things. And mom, do you remember when you were you would like be in the shower and you would heard my voice? Oh, yeah, that was the big kicker for me. I was in the I wasn't in the shower. I was just in the bathroom with the door closed. You guys were sleeping. You dropping a deuce? No, not that day. And, <laughs> and, um, and I heard someone say Lola, like our, my little dog called Lola, who was in the bathroom with me. And I opened the door and I went, oh, that's weird. No, no one's out there. It was a lady's voice. And then I went down to check on you guys. You were out cold. And I'm like, okay, that was weird. So I so, think it was I, the lady that I died. Heard I had also heard a voice in the bathroom as you well. You did? I didn't know that. Yeah, I've told you, you guys this. You heard a voice? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I was, know that. Uh, you guys were away 
and you guys were both, I was home alone. Um, and I was like getting ready to go meet some friends or something. And I was in the bathroom. I think I just gotten out of the shower and I heard someone whisper my name, like directly in my ear. I I've did not know that. that. No, you I've have told not told me that before. No, me neither. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> and what's weird about that too is so I was telling this to Rachel when I like I had a whispering right in my ear as well but I was sleeping and it was one of those like I woke up and I was like was that a dream did that actually happen but I could have sworn that I felt like someone's like hot breath even on my face and they right. whispered in my ear I'm coming with you and it was when I was moving to LA Right. Like I woke up and I was like, that must have been a dream. Like what the hell? But yep. if it like whispered no, in not. your ear too, like, whole, yeah, I know you're not, you're not coming with me. Leave me alone. Thanks. That's so, but she was saying, Rachel was saying, she's like, if it's, if it's, I don't know for, for you, mom, if it was trying to like imitate my voice or what, but she said that can be like a pretty bad sign that it's actually not like a friendly ghost. Oh, uh, I, I think this was a friendly ghost for sure. Or spirit, not a ghost, like a spirit, because I mean, What's it never the difference? Did is there a difference between a ghost and a spirit? Well, I think a ghost is like Halloween. A spirit is like someone's spirit, you know, like. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> True. I gotcha. but, uh, and also when I moved out of that house and I moved into Keswick, <clears throat> um, I was sleeping and something lifted the end of my bed. I remember you saying that. That freaked me out. I'm like, oh, my God, did that ghost or spirit follow me? Like, yeah. So but maybe that, one of us is like tagging. Have have, have you guys had anything happen after those things? Mm. I never had anything happen since we moved out of that house. Me neither. I was like, Mom, I just had that thing in yeah. Keswick because I went, oh, my gosh, is, did that spirit follow me? But then that was the only thing I experienced. And it was like kind of weird. But um yeah, I was not afraid of the spirit in on Simpson Road, though, at all. I didn't. Not that I would say that I felt afraid of it. But I mean, ghosts are terrifying anyways. Like, I'm not I don't want to, like, be around ghosts. So oh, like, I, put that I, out I, to the universe. Yeah, I would let them move in with me. Like, I just. Yeah. Why do you like them so much? I don't know. It's just, you know, as long as they're friendly and, you know, just want to hang. It's fine. <laughs> it's, That's nice weird. it's nice to have some company, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I live alone. Yeah, that's right, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. I'm so, not talking to myself. I'm talking to my ghost friend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like that stuff. It all. It, I, I. They all freak me out. I don't really want anything to do with with any of it. Yeah. But um, yeah. Like what, Eric? Didn't you see something on the stairs or something at one point, or were you stoned at that point? Uh. Well. <laughs> yes and yes. I, <laughs> I don't think I saw anything on the stairs. No, um, it was just always, you know, hearing something there, and then yeah, on our... I always felt like something was like watching me. Like I would always just have that like eerie feeling of like something being over my shoulder, something watching. Like especially when I was in my bedroom, like because we had our computers in our room, so we were always in there like doing homework and you know doing whatever um, yeah. instant messenger chat. <laughs> Yeah. But I always just felt like something was like there watching. I never well, like thing, it. Like with that, with the, again, with those two rooms being add ons to the house, like I'm curious if like something was disturbed in the soil or something um, with that addition being made in the back there. Yeah. Yeah. You Real just, poltergeist. You know, because like our, uh, our house also backed on to like a hospital. That's um, true. You know, the, God, the, I never thought about right. that. That's right. Um, we were directly across the street from the hospital. Yeah, I, I honestly think it was the lady that died downstairs. Okay, so I, what's I the story for the woman that died downstairs? So just for people listening honestly, to this, too, just hold on, that, wait, 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 pause. Sorry. Just to preface for people, the, the, this house, it was a bungalow, but there was a full basement apartment as well. And the woman that died lived in the basement apartment before we ever moved in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do, what do you know about oh, that story? But just before we moved in there. Oh. Yeah. Like she was. was yeah. Oh. And, and because I bought that house from one of my clients and uh, she sold it uh, because they, they weren't living in there. They had a monstrous house. And uh, when the lady died, she sold the house. And uh, I bought it. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like that kind of just like puts a button in it that like the mm -hmm. woman that had died, it yeah. must have been that.
I I remember being in the basement one time and like basements are creepy anyways. That basement wasn't actually creepy because no, it was a finished yeah. basement. Mm-hmm. But I would always haul my ass up those stairs real quick. As, as soon as I shut oh. off those lights, I was like booking it out of there. I was up those stairs. But I remember being downstairs one time and I had a can of Coke, probably Diet Coke. Um, and it, it started to spin and move down the table. Granted, I'm sure that was just like the condensation from it and like... I'm sure it wasn't a ghost, but I've never moved faster in my life as I did when that happened. Like thinking yeah. that it was like right there moving yeah. my pop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I did hear her talk like um, when when Lola was in the bathroom with me and she she called Lola's name. It was like so weird. So and Justin creepy. was living there then too, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, but yeah. Like I would even like have like girlfriends come over and like sleep over and not tell them that mm-hmm. like I wouldn't I wouldn't be like, hey, by the way, there's a probably a ghost in my house. Like that was never a conversation being had. Mm-hmm. But when we'd be sleeping, same thing as like Eric was saying too, where like they'd be like, what is that sound? Mm-hmm. Like I remember even hearing like the like the dishwasher opening. Like there was a lot of action happening. Like it was a very active ghost slash spirit. I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 